Beneath the serene skies of southern Japan lies a volcano that never truly sleeps, a fiery giant whose thunderous rumblings and ash plumes have become part of daily life. Sakurajima, often called Japan's most dangerous volcano, erupts so often that ashfall is a daily nuisance for the people of Kagoshima, a city of over 600,000 residents just a few kilometers away. The volcano erupted just two months ago, sending a towering ash cloud nearly 3,000 meters into the air and blanketing Kagoshima in a fine, gray haze. And it didn't stop there. Throughout late May and early June, minor explosive bursts and glowing nighttime incandescence continued, with ash plumes reaching as high as 3.5 kilometers, prompting level 3 warnings. Here's the unsettling question. What if these seemingly routine eruptions are merely a prelude to something far more catastrophic? Once an island, Sakurajima became a peninsula after a massive eruption, unleashed lava flows so intense they connected it to the mainland. Now, it looms directly above a vast ancient caldera, a massive underground magma chamber that, if destabilized, could trigger a super eruption with global consequences. Could this restless volcano be the harbinger of something far more apocalyptic? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Sakurajima lies within the Aira Caldera, a massive depression formed by a super eruption roughly 22,000 years ago. This ancient explosion was among the most powerful ever to occur in Japan, ejecting over 300 cubic kilometers of volcanic material and reshaping the landscape of southern Kyushu. Today, Sakurajima stands as a post-caldera stratovolcano that emerged around 13,000 years ago and continues to grow with each eruption. Geologically, Sakurajima is considered a composite volcano made up of layers of hardened lava, tephra, and volcanic ash. The volcano rises 1,117 meters above sea level and has three main peaks, Kitadake, Nakadake, and Minamidake. Of these, Minamidake and Showa craters are the most active, regularly erupting and sending ash clouds high into the sky. The volcano's proximity to the subduction zone, where the Philippine Sea Plate dives beneath the Eurasian Plate, makes it an ideal site for magma accumulation, high-pressure buildup, and frequent seismic activity. Sakurajima's most destructive recorded eruption occurred in 1914. For over a century prior, the volcano had been relatively quiet, lulling locals into a false sense of security. But in the days leading up to the eruption, the ground shook violently, and pressure beneath the surface began to mount. On January 12, 1914, Sakurajima exploded in a cataclysmic event. Unlike many Japanese eruptions that are explosive, this eruption was effusive, meaning lava flowed out rather than being violently blasted into the air. Over the course of several weeks, vast quantities of lava poured from Sakurajima, covering over 9 square kilometers. The flow was so immense, it filled the sea channel between Sakurajima and the mainland, and connected the island to Kyushu permanently. This turned the island into a peninsula, forever altering its geological identity. This eruption also claimed at least 58 lives, destroyed hundreds of homes, triggered landslides, and caused minor tsunamis. Scientists consider it one of Japan's most significant eruptions and a stark reminder of what Sakurajima is capable of. Since then, Sakurajima has never returned to a truly dormant state. It erupted sporadically throughout the 20th century, with significant activity during the 1946 and 1955 events. However, the most persistent phase of modern eruptions began in 1955, when Sakurajima entered a state of continuous explosive activity that persists to this day. The opening of the Showa Crater in 2006 marked a new era of more frequent moderate eruptions. Some years, the volcano has recorded more than 1,000 eruptions, with ash plumes soaring thousands of meters into the sky. Sakurajima has remained in a highly active state throughout 2025, with frequent explosive eruptions primarily from its Minamidake summit crater. These eruptions regularly produce impressive ash plumes, 
ranging from 1,000 to 3,000 meters above the vent. A significant event occurred on May 15th when the Japan Meteorological Agency reported an eruption that sent a towering 3,000 meters ash column skyward, triggering a level 3 alert and prompting advisories for nearby regions. Though, fortunately, no injuries or major damage were reported. Detailed observations from May 28th to June 2nd document multiple mild eruptions. A blast on May 29th produced a 1,500 meters ash plume and ejected large blocks of rock. Subsequent explosions on May 30th sent ash clouds 3.5 kilometers above the crater, with rock debris traveling up to 1.1 kilometers. Despite being normal in the context of Sakurajima's behavior, these eruptions are closely watched by the Japan Meteorological Agency. It's not the constant small explosions that worry experts the most. It's the fear that they may be building toward a far more catastrophic eruption. What makes Sakurajima's threat even more concerning is its relationship with the Era Caldera. The caldera, hidden beneath Kagoshima Bay, is a vast underground magma chamber that fed the ancient super-eruption 22,000 years ago. While Sakurajima's frequent outbursts may seem like a release valve, many volcanologists worry that the real danger lies beneath. Recent research suggests that magma is once again accumulating beneath the Ira caldera at an accelerating pace. A 2018 study by Kyoto University volcanologists revealed that the system has replenished about 1% of the volume ejected during the last super-eruption, a process that, if continued, could lead to another catastrophic event within a few centuries or even decades. The team concluded that a major eruption could potentially occur within the next 30 years, depending on the rate of magma accumulation and tectonic shifts. In this worst-case scenario, the eruption would not be limited to Sakurajima's surface craters. Instead, it could involve a caldera-wide collapse, ejecting vast amounts of ash and pyroclastic material, triggering tsunamis, and devastating an area much wider than southern Kyushu. The consequences would extend far beyond Japan, potentially leading to global concerns. One of the most unique aspects of Sakurajima is the proximity of human settlement to its volcanic activity. The city of Kagoshima, home to over 600,000 people, lies just 10 kilometers across the bay from the active craters. Small towns and villages also dot the lower slopes of Sakurajima, making it one of the most heavily populated volcanic zones in the world. The local population has adapted in remarkable ways. Ash-proof shelters, evacuation drills, and emergency kits are part of daily life. Children wear helmets to school and participate in monthly drills that simulate volcanic eruptions. Homes and vehicles are equipped with ash cleaning tools, and many residents use umbrellas, not for rain, but for falling volcanic ash. Even local government websites provide real-time updates on ash dispersion, crater activity, and evacuation alerts. However, this resilience does not negate the real dangers. Volcanic ash damages crops, corrodes infrastructure, and infiltrates lungs. Agriculture suffers from ashfall that blankets fields and affects soil acidity. Air travel in the region is frequently disrupted by plumes. Tourism, a major component of Kagoshima's economy, ebbs and flows with the volcano's temperament. Furthermore, Kagoshima's dense population and aging demographic increase the logistical challenges of carrying out a mass evacuation in the event of a major eruption. Although Sakurajima is a Japanese volcano, its eruption could have international consequences. A major eruption would inject large amounts of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, leading to the formation of sulfate aerosols that cool the Earth temporarily. An effect observed after the 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption, which reduced global temperatures by 0.5 degrees Celsius for several years. Ash clouds from Sakurajima could shut down international air travel in the Asia-Pacific region. Japan's critical role in global supply chains, from electronics to automobiles, means that widespread disruption to its transportation and manufacturing sectors could trigger economic ripples around the world. Japan's already strained energy infrastructure could be severely tested, especially if nuclear facilities or power grids are damaged or shut down preemptively. 
emergency aid responses would have to navigate a potentially chaotic landscape of blocked roads, destroyed infrastructure, and ongoing seismic aftershocks. Sakurajima is a volcano that erupts so often that it has become background noise to those living nearby. Yet its true threat lies not in its constant grumbling, but in the possibility of a sudden, cataclysmic outburst that could change everything. With magma steadily accumulating beneath the Aira caldera and no sign of long-term dormancy, scientists agree on one chilling fact. Another major eruption is not a matter of if, but when. The people of Kagoshima live with this knowledge every day, balancing modern life with ancient caution. Through constant monitoring, technological innovation, and public education, Japan has become a global leader in volcanic disaster preparedness. But even the best systems may be tested beyond their limits when Sakurajima decides to show its true power once again. As the volcano continues to puff, rumble, and grow, the world watches, anxious, respectful, and aware that in the shadow of Sakurajima, life can change in an instant.